stolen truck, um, and uh, officers are in pursuit of it. You can see right now that the truck on surface streets is uh, a little bit out of control. We are told that a spike strip has been deployed, and that truck has run over the spike strip. And you can see uh, the suspect still going, trying to uh, wriggle his way through that intersection, but uh, pausing and letting the cars go by. Um, Which is odd because some of the cars are probably wondering what he's doing. Mm -hmm. And then now the camera signal breaking up just a little bit. He's going into the intersection with disregard of oncoming traffic. Uh, this is a case of deja vu. We saw this this morning with a, a much higher rate of speed, but that was a, a sedan, a Honda sedan. This is a, a, a Penske moving truck that you can see there, and he's driving into oncoming traffic as well. Not wanting to stop, you see the officers throwing another spike strip out. Not sure which tires uh, they got. Of course, uh, the rear tires you've got. It looks like there's multiple uh, wheels back there. Now we're going to see what's happening here um, because he's having to get around that dump truck. And without being able to see what's ahead of him in his lane, uh, it's a little difficult to see what his options are as far as why he's in, you know, why did he get into that turn lane there? But, uh, it looks like he would be able to go past that uh, that truck, but uh, maybe his truck is disabled at this point. We have JT Alpa on the line here. JT, what can you tell us? Well, Leslie, you can see this Penske rental uh, truck, this box truck, very large, very heavy. A big concern for LAPD. We did see that spike strip vehicle at Woodley and Sherman Way as he made that westbound turn from Sherman Way onto northbound Woodley. They were able to spike strip that right rear tire. But even before that, we've seen moves like the suspect was doing, going into oncoming traffic, stopping, backing up. And there's something in the back of that Penske truck that keeps rolling around, almost looks like a small garbage dumpster rolling around back there. Not really sure what that is, but seeing him do this stop and, and opening the door here, we can see he's almost getting out here, so I'll throw it back to you guys here. We're a little bit delayed on my feet, but right. continuing that's, that's north one thing down our movement here from Roscoe coming into the North Hills area. Yeah, we want to point out that uh, JT will be on a bit of a delay, about seven seconds, and yes, JT, right as he was parked next to that dump truck, once the dump truck started to move away, he opened his door as if he had a, a, an intent to get out of the vehicle, uh, but he did not. So now he's continuing, and you can see with Sky Map 7, he is on Woodley Avenue, uh, and he is uh, coming upon another truck in front of him. So the speeds are low because, uh, Leslie, as you mentioned, they threw out several spike strips. He's run over spike strips already, but he's, it's as if he's trying to get into another uh, truck, and so now we're... Oh. We're losing the signal. We, we lost it right there. Don't know. Okay. We see him getting out. He, at least we saw him get out. He's running, trying to he get. He's a got weapon. a weapon in his hand. Oh. He's got a weapon, and he is trying, or or does he? It could be a walkie-talkie. Trying to get back in his truck. Switch guy map off. Switch guy map off. We might end up, this might be another shooting if he, nope, uh, they, they did not. Yeah. So thankfully for our viewers at home, uh, we're not able to see exactly what's happening. He had something in his hand, mm -hmm. whether it was a weapon or some sort of uh, walkie-talkie that was trying to break out the window. He wanted to get, remember, we saw him at the dump truck, mm -hmm. and he was we were trying to figure out why he was doing that, but he opened his door as if he was going to get out. This time, he did get out and tried to get in to that other large vehicle, and now officers have him down on the ground. Amazing restraint if shots weren't fired, mm -hmm. because that was very close proximity to each other, and that person was obviously showing uh, no intent to surrender. Right, and they have a, they're in close quarters here. It appears that four of them have surrounded him. He appears to be on the ground. We don't have uh, a visibility of him right now, but another officer opening the truck that he was trying to get into, um, and we see the person who was in the driver's seat of the other truck motioning, but they are trying right now, about um, uh, five officers trying to uh, restrain him and bring him out of this, this close area. Yeah. <laughs> and hopefully have him handcuffed, and hopefully this will be over. But it appears that he was the only one in that Penske rental truck, and you can just catch a glimpse of him right here. It did appear that he had a weapon in his hand or something in his hand and tried to knock out that window. And 
Well, this began about 7.25 this morning. Uh, they initially, LAPD responded to a report of a, a stolen Penske truck, and the pursuit was on the 405 for a short time. I was on Haskell. They did set up a spike strip, strip and the, the suspect hit that at Woodley and Sherman Way, uh, Sherman Way. And then, of course, is that's when we picked it up after the spike strip. So he was uh, driving a little bit more slowly than we've seen, probably because of damage to the tires. Uh, but then the very, very tense moments there, certainly for the person in that Thomas truck there. I see Thomas on the on the roof there. Uh, start your day happy, but that mm -hmm. is certainly an interesting start for this person's day um, at 8.30 when somebody tried to break through the window. I can't really, he, he's They're being dragged out. out. He's not, it's not that he's being necessarily combative, mm -hmm. uh, but he, he was extremely dangerous there for a moment to, to any number of people. Looks like they might have less than lethal force used on him. Mm -hmm. That's what she's got. She's got a taser in her hand right. uh, there with the green. So that stays connected to him. Yes. So then if he continues to be non-compliant, they can hit that again and provide another shock to him. Uh, but generally speaking, when you're hit with one of those, if you're uh, aware of your faculties, mm -hmm. you generally start to comply. It right. is quite the jolt to your system. So now they're, it looks like they use less than, less than lethal force. Uh, and again, as we mentioned a moment ago, amazing restraint by the officers because it certainly looked like he had a weapon in his hand when it, he hit the window of that uh, truck. It really did. And you can see how quickly violence can happen when um, you are um, the, the other driver and suddenly somebody's coming around trying to car drag carjack your vehicle it happened so quickly and that person was lucky that uh, the window was rolled up and and that the suspect could not uh, commandeer his truck well you see officers trying to identify the person that was the wallet they were looking through there uh, it does not appear as if the person is in need of medical attention uh, it does appear as if he's down and uh certainly the windy conditions there. So several officers, LAPD has this person surrounded. Again, it began as a stolen pursuit uh, or stolen truck. Uh, the suspect finally stopped the truck at Woodley, south of Parthenia. This is in Van Nuys. So if you're trying to commute, commute through this area, this is Woodley, just south of Parthenia in Van Nuys. Uh, this person had tried to get into another truck, which has now been moved. Mm -hmm. You can see that that other truck has been moved. So the Penske truck, which was damaged, by the spike strip, he tried to get, uh, it seemed as if he was talking or maybe had pulled in front of that tow truck to keep the tow truck from going anywhere. We'd asked, we kind of wondered why he was in the turn lane. So he had tried to stop that tow truck apparently, but the, when the tow truck started to move around him, he tried to get out and we thought maybe he was going to try to get in that tow truck. He did the same thing with that other truck, and we saw him bashing on that window. Yeah, we thought maybe he was uh, possibly trying to surrender, but he was uh, probably his intent was to get into that tow truck. Um, and they have the taser, as you can see right there. We do have confirmation that they did tase him. And um, it's, it's unclear that the second truck.